<laughs> Hello boys and girls and welcome to Kid Vid Cinema. We're going to have some amazing weeks together as we dive into God's holy book, the Bible, and watch some videos about uh, kids telling their real stories and the amazing power of Jesus. Have you guys ever looked at the night sky with all of the stars? Isn't it incredible? It's one of my favorite views. And because this, all of those stars help remind me how absolutely incredible God is that he made the whole world, all of the stars, and me. Well, that's one of the things we're going to be discovering at Rocky Railroad at VBS. We're discovering that we can observe God and what he's doing all around us. When we learn to look, we can see God's goodness everywhere. In your packet from this week, there's a bracelet that is black with silver writing. It says, watch for God. You can go ahead and take that out of your packet and wear it the rest of the day, the rest of the week, the whole summer, anytime you want. These bracelets can help us when we are going about our day at school or daycare at home to always be on the lookout for seeing God's good works around us. When we think of something like that, we call them God sightings, and we will be sharing them with each other throughout our few weeks of VBS here. One of my personal God sightings recently was uh, seeing my nephew on Snapchat say his prayers. That's a great way to keep in touch with a uh, family during these times of staying at home. And so seeing him pray so earnestly really made me happy, and that was my God sighting. Can you think of one you've had today? If not, that's okay. But now that we're wearing these all the time, let's see if we can think of one for next week. I'm excited to discover more about Jesus's power this week, and I'm also excited to watch our kid vid videos. You know, it's pretty cool. When we watch these videos, we're actually watching for God. The kids in these videos are real kids just like you, and Jesus's power helps them just like Jesus's power can help you. This week, we're discovering that Jesus's power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. In today's video, we'll meet a friend named Dominic who loves to do karate. Does everyone know what karate is? Karate is a sport that focuses on self-control while it strengthens your body and your mind. It involves special kicks and movements that may seem hard to do. As you watch today's video, be on the lookout for the hard things that Dominic has to learn. My name is Dominic and I'm almost 11 years old. Dominic lives with his mom, dad, grandma, and grandpa. He enjoys all kinds of hobbies. But one is his favorite. I like to build things. I also like karate a lot. I love karate because I get to really express myself and I get to have fun. And I also get to build character and build physical strength. Learning karate is hard work. Dominic practices up to three times a week. Plus, he practices at home with his dad. The hardest thing about karate is definitely a lot of push-ups, leg lifts, sit-ups. Dominic knows that he needs to trust Jesus when things get hard. There was this board breaking thing and I saw all the other kids break it with their palm. Right here, right here. Boom. Just didn't work out for me. Dominic failed to break the board with his hand, but he didn't give up. He continued to train, and he asked Jesus to help him. And I said, I'm going to break this board. It's an obstacle way, way, and let me push through it. And ha! I broke it. 
Another part of karate is taking tests to earn new belts. Each belt color represents a new level. Earning a new belt is hard. I was very discouraged on the first day because I was afraid I wasn't going to pass, and that's what brought me down. The second day, I was feeling very, very discouraged, very, very, very sad. And I thought, I don't think I'm going to pass this, and I didn't. I failed, and I failed, and I failed. Finally got to the last day that I could possibly test, and I said, this isn't going to be like those last times. I am going to pass it. I said, you know what, Jesus, Jesus can help me get through this. I'm just going to pray to him today. I am going to pass the test tomorrow. And I did. In the Bible, in the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 13, it says, For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. My three-day test, it was really hard. And Jesus helped me through that. I was nervous for it. If you're going through hard things, I suggest that all you need to do is just trust in God and he'll help you. Pray to God and he can get you through anything. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Dominic sure has some hard things to do to succeed at karate, doesn't he? Dominic loves karate, even though it's hard. What's something in your life that you like to do even though it's hard? How did Jesus help Dominic do the hard things we saw in the video? Jesus gave us life, came into us at baptism, and is always with us. He knows about every hard thing we have to face. Dominic works hard because he loves karate. Some parts of practicing aren't very fun, but Dominic knows that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Sometimes we miss out on something fun because we're afraid to try it. We're afraid it's too hard or that we'll fail. And other times we might be in a situation where we don't want to face it at all. A situation that's just plain hard, like when parents go through a divorce. But I know a verse in the Bible that can help no matter what thing we are facing. This verse has helped me many times in my life, and I can't wait to share it with you. Throughout our weeks at VBS, I'm going to try to say all of your names at some point during the different two videos. So be paying special attention to see when I say your name. If you have a Bible at home, you can go and get it now, and I'll wait for you. Matthew may recognize this Bible because it's the Bible we use in our atrium. Hi, Matthew. Let's dig into today's verse. And remember, we'll be getting a cool memory of Bible buddy that we'll be talking about to help us remember this verse. Let's listen to what the Bible says in Philippians 4, chapter 13. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. What a great verse for today when we're discovering that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. This verse tells me that no matter what hard things I have to do or hard things to get through, I can do it because Jesus will give me his strength and power. You know, there was once an Olympic gold medalist diver for the United States who said something to herself before every dive. A TV person asked her what she was saying, 
and she said she was reciting a dad Bible verse. Isn't that cool? If a gold medalist can use this verse when she has something hard to do, so can we. Think about this. When we love to do something, it's worth it to us to get through the hard parts, right? Let me ask you this. Is there something you would like to try, but you haven't done it because it seems too hard? Think about that for a minute, and then share with your siblings or mom and dad. We're going to do something now with our memory buddy, so you can go get it out of your bag, okay? Did you know? that once we take the plastic around it, we can set it like this so it stands, or we can put him on our carabiners. But right now, we're gonna put Ramsey in the palm of our hands, but we're gonna do it this way. Let's read it together. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. This verse can encourage us in lots of difficult situations. But even though we all face difficult situations and have different hard things to do, Jesus' power never changes. Jesus is with us all the time, and his strength and his power are always there for us. How do we know that that's true? Do you remember your baptism? Probably not. But that is when Jesus first gave you his sanctifying graces, God's divine life within you that makes you his friend and his adopted child. This grace from Jesus is what gives you strength to do all the things, like our saint of this week, Saint Therese of Lisieux. Here is our saint of the week, Saint Therese. You have a little card of her in your bags that you can get out now if you want. On the front is her picture, and you see she's holding many beautiful roses. And on the back is a little description about her life. She is who we are going to be talking about. She faced many hard things in her life, from the death of her mother when Therese was a child, to a terribly painful illness, to trials of faith, to sorrow and life, and even everyday hardships like kids teasing her or feeling annoyed with people. But Therese knew Jesus was always with her, so she kept going, knowing that she could do all things with Jesus there to strengthen her. Jesus gave us the sacraments as the main source of God's grace. If we stay close to the sacraments like St. Therese did, we can always be strong to do the hardest things and get through with the toughest times because of Jesus' promise to always be with us. I don't know about you, but I think that's a pretty amazing promise. Let's thank Jesus right now for that strength. We are almost done today. Before we go, let's close in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear Lord, we believe your promises, and we believe we can do everything through Christ who gives us strength. Thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you, boys and girls, for coming to Kid Vid Cinema today. See you next time. Bye.